It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Hello, welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras for today's astral affirmation, March 10th, 2023. Yes, it's raining again here in the IE, so it's nothing but clouds in the sky and wet ground on the floor of the earth. <laughs> I'm wearing my orange towel, but I really don't need to, so I'll take it off. It's because I haven't brushed my hair from taking it out of that messy bun that I always put my hair whenever I go to bed at night, I tie it up in this messy bun and I just took it off of it. So this is how it looks without me brushing it or doing anything with it. Yes, I know I'm blessed, too blessed to be stressed. So it's about like 48 degrees right now here in San Bernardino. Yeah, some people say that would be cold, but Bernadette, that's me feels like it's summer. See, I'm wearing my shorts today. My fluorescent orange shorts. Yeah, I love these shorts. You know, like the, the East Coasters when they visit California, they always wear shorts in the wintertime because, I don't know, I guess over there in back east, it's like really cold with snow all the time so when they come here in the winter they feel like it's spring or summer but anyway astrologically speaking we are at the tail end of the age of pisces the age of spirituality when religion began in this world you know at first it was Father Sky, Mother Earth, you know, Native American, with everybody was in the same religion. But as we are all unique and have different likes and dislikes, religion was diversified into separate sects. So it kind of divided us, right? That's what we have today. And you know what? What I have observed in these latter days of my life is that kids now are losing interest in religion and finding their own spirituality. Have you noticed that too? I have been on my spiritual journey for 62 years. This coming April 23rd, will be, I'll be 62. So it's been 62 years that I've been on this spiritual journey and I feel like I have arrived at the peak of my power. I am woman after all. <laughs> That's a Helen Reddy song, BTW. It goes like, I am woman, watch me grow. See me standing toe to toe as I spread my loving arms across the land. But I'm still an embryo with a long, long way to go until I make my brother understand. <laughs> That's my theme song. Speaking of theme songs, let's sing We Are one. Okay. Let's warm up our voices. Me, 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 me. And let the universe know we are here. We are here. We are here. Like the micro community of Whoville in Horton. Here's a who. Is that Dr. Seuss book that was turned into a movie. We are all dandy lions rawr, in this tiny blue dot called Earth. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. So sing and clap along with David's drum.
love it. That was so powerful. I am a powerful woman. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you know that Billy Joel song, She's Always a Woman? He wrote that about me. <laughs> it goes like, she can kill with a smile, she can wound with her eyes, and she can ruin your faith with her casual lies, and she only reveals what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to me. Yes, the lyrics to the whole song was all about the woman that I am today. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, yeah, Billy Joel was like, what, 28 maybe when he wrote that song? And I was only 16, only 16, but I love her so. But she was too young to fall in love and I was too young to know. It's Dr. Hook, 1975. Anyway, um, Billy Joel was one of my biggest teenage crush at the time. And now his song, She's Always a Woman, resonates in my heart as if it was about me now that I'm the age of 62. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. Time for a coffee talk. Mm. Before we have our chakra chat. This is Kauai dark roast coffee from Hawaii. And it's so good. We got a new cured coffee brewer, did I tell you? Yeah, it's great. You don't even have to press any buttons. You just tap the light for the amount of coffee that you want and it brews fresh coffee. No need for fresh pot. David Grohl, I had grilled bagels with cream cheese with this, it was, I topped it with this um, Knott's Berry Farm Pure Boysenberry Preserves. Is good. Is good. So, anyway, yeah. So, I was out there on my balcony. Well, actually, I was standing on the threshold because, like I said, it's raining and wet out there. So, I just opened the door and smoked right there between in and out and morning dove you know those morning doves they're like a relative or cousin of the white doves but they're a little bit bigger and they're gray and they have this collar like a black streak around their neck like a collar like a black collar and they call those morning doves anyway morning dove came screeching like, and perched on the telephone pole in front of me. Then another morning dove came screeching and perched next to it. But the first one chased the second one away. And then it came back and it started cooing, you know, like, And I asked it in my spirit, what message do you have for me? And I feel it's sorrow and pain for people that, that we love and have passed, you know, we've lost. But at the same time, I feel their love greater than I've ever felt before when they were still living, like my mom who passed away in 2002 and my baby brother, Alexis Pena Goko, AKA Catanic Panic, who passed away last year, 2022. Morning Dove tells me to keep the faith, 
to believe in the eternal life, life after death. The eternal life of the human spirit to trust in God, trust in the universe for the peace in your heart and mind that surpasses all understanding. Yes, that's the message I got. And I pay attention to signs and symbols now in my old age. So anyway, today we are honoring the sacral chakra for the ruling energy of the day. The moon is still in Libra. So all you Libras out there, it's not too late to receive the oil of anointing from the sacred secretions of your pituitary and pineal glands, the land of milk and honey. So wear orange today to open, activate, and balance. The sacral chakra, the spinning sphere of energy in the spine that powers our sense of self. It is called the Svadhisthana in Sanskrit, and it means the place of self. It is located about two inches below the belly button, above the genitals. It corresponds to the pubic bone, okay, where the female ovaries and the male testicles are located. The area of the woman's womb, where we are all created, we were all created in in the woman's womb, all of us. Mama's uterus. And then I also have this Aroma Naturals Aromatherapy Candle that I will light up for our show today. Mm. Yes, it smells so good. It's a combination. It's a combination scent. I don't know if it's there or not. No, it's not, but it's a combination scent of lavender and tangerine. And it's orange for the sacral chakra. It's made of pure and natural essential oils so that the fragrance spread throughout the room. I have my mandala for the root, sacral, and solar plexus chakra there on the wall behind me. I crocheted this with Wizard of Lutes channel on YouTube. Let me show you closer. Isn't it amazing? It combines the colors of the first three chakras of our energy body. Red, orange, yellow, right? Okay, so back to the energy color of the day. Orange. Surround yourself with the color orange. Eat oranges. Orange vegetables like pumpkin squash pick out the orange m&ms got my bowl of m&ms here pick out the orange ones and eat them mm. meditate go inward exit the external world by closing your eyes and exercise the core of your being. All you have to do is close your eyes. That's simple. And relax your body. Like when you're sleeping, except you stay awake. It's important to stay awake. 
that's why meditating while sitting or standing is better than meditating while lying down because you don't want to fall asleep when you're meditating right yeah I've shown you this book before in my previous video project 369 the key to the universe evolved consciousness right it talks about meditation and brain waves how we go from alpha waves when we disconnect from the external environment, right? And enter the internal world of beingness. But when we get like, when we close our eyes, right? We begin to, the alpha waves begins. And that's how we disconnect from the external environment and enter our core, right? Go within. But when we get deeper into meditation, the theta brain waves occurs when our mind is awake and our body is asleep. That's the, the state you want to be in in meditation. It also talks about how brilliant scientists like Einstein and Tesla get their inspirations while meditating. I want to read you this portion. I'm going to share with you what it says about Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein. It says, many geniuses like Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein were able to have Miraculous realizations because they knew how to escape their outer world and enter their creative inner world by lowering their brain waves to a theta state. If you can recall, theta is when you enter the door to your subconscious mind. Since your subconscious mind has stored all previous data, these geniuses used meditation as a way to have their superconscious validate their stored data and work with new data. Einstein did not take regular power naps. He held a spoon in one hand and a plate below it. As he went deeper into meditation and went from theta to delta waves, he would fall asleep and the spoon would drop on the plate and he would wake up. So that was his way of making sure he doesn't fall asleep while meditating so that he can remember all of those inspirations, the ideas that he gets from going within. So yeah, um, I'm studying this book and um, I like to share some of the things that I learned from, from that book with you. So you don't have to buy it. <laughs> no, but buy it. Because it's really good. Um, it's got a place here where you can actually use it as a journal. Like a spiritual journal. Like this part here. It says, I am the master of my thoughts. And then it asks you questions. Yeah. So anyway, today's ruling energy is the sacral chakra, our creative power. It's about our relationship with ourselves and others. It's in charge of our sexuality and our need for intimacy, pleasure, self-expression. It is the power behind our desires and emotions. Here on my chakra chart, you see all seven primary chakras of our core, our soul spirit, the subtle system of the human body. The sacral chakra right here is the second spinning sphere or wheel in our spine. 
the sound vibration that awakens the sacral chakra is vam. That's the seed mantra for the sacral chakra to awaken it. And then the symbol is a six petaled lotus flower. But you can see it better on my chakra shawl. So let me show you it on my chakra shawl. Oh, I don't have my chakra shawl with me today. Never mind. Anyway, it is a. Let me take it off of here so you could, I can show you better. Yeah, it's this. Okay. So you see the six petals, right? Okay. Those six petals represent modes of consciousness that we need to overcome in order to purify the sacral chakra. Those um, six modes of consciousness are anger, envy, hatred, cruelty, pride, and lust. So we need to quit those, those things, those emotions, okay? Because they block us from, you know, achieving our full potential in life. And then also you see concentric circles in the center, right? They symbolize the moon phases. You see the crescent moon in the middle? So these circles in the center of the lotus flower um, depicts the never-ending cycle of life. The movement forward is spiral, right? Ever-changing, but coming back to the same spot, but at a different level. Hopefully, you're spiraling up, not spiraling down. Not a downward spiral, but a upward spiral, okay? So just like the phases of the moon that affects the tides of the ocean, the sacral chakra is the deep waters of our soul. Our emotions are constantly changing according to external and internal stimuli or influences like the moon. Right? Yes, the moon controls the ebb and flow of the waves of life, right? Ebb and flow of the ocean. And we are mostly made of water right? I think we're like 80% water. So, um, yeah, it represents constant movement, forever changing like a river to find our passion and bliss. Yeah, so meditate today, focusing on your sacral chakra. We are in Pisces season, the season of deep spiritual exploration. So take advantage of this perfect time to go within, go inward, take a break from the material world and get physical, physical. We wanna get physical, spiritual. <laughs> we wanna get spiritual, yes. Anyway, another thing is that Saturn is in Pisces now. So it will help in sorting out what is fantasy and reality. Remember my drawing of the Pisces symbol? <laughs> yeah. Two fish in opposite directions tied together in the same ocean, the same circle. Fantasy and reality. Spirituality and humanity individuality, community, okay, polar opposites. 
This is the stage we're in right now. We're in a transition phase at the end of the age of Pisces and the coming of age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. Yes, so let's put what we have learned about ourselves and share it with the world to make it a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. So that's all I have for you today. And as usual, and as always, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.